One click. That's all it takes for children to be confronted with images that can change the trajectory of their lives, leaving them confused and angry. It doesn't have to be this way. In fact, Australia has the potential to be the safest place in the world to raise children. We just need the political willpower to make it happen. Thankfully, in our federal parliament right now, we have a group of politicians who are serious about protecting our children from pornography. We need to support them. And I'm going to tell you why and how. Current Australian regulations are drastically outdated. They fail to restrict violent, sexually explicit imagery from being fed to our children online. And this is because our classification rules don't apply to websites that are hosted overseas. And so predators wanting to promote their evil stuff simply host overseas. This is the case with the world's largest freely accessible online pornography website. Research shows that there is widespread and genuine community concern about the serious impacts on the welfare of children and young people associated with being exposed to sites such as this. Parents are particularly concerned, with more than 8 out of 10 demanding that adult sites verify a user's age before being able to access content. Now, before you say this can't be done, it's already happening and being used in many other platforms. No one seems to mind age verification legislation protecting children from accessing online gambling sites or from buying alcohol for home delivery or purchasing vaping products, even ordering furniture or making in-app purchases. Age verification is used before you can join a dating site or open a social media account, but not to protect them from pornography. Any perceived inconvenience for adults to suffer, to have to prove their age at the till or at the cinema or to enter a casino are seen as a small sacrifice to protect kids from adult activities. Online technology can actually make this less inconvenient than in real life. And yet, our children continue to have unrestricted access to online harm. It is clear that most people believe we have a duty to provide more due diligence to protect children than we do to protect adults from any small inconvenience. France is a good example. In 2020, they were one of the first countries to tackle this issue head on, introducing legislation to force the adult industry to block online access to minors. Now, it's hard to understand then that in Australia, no matter how violent, how disgusting the content may be, the eSafety Commissioner has no power to block children from being exposed to soul-destroying sites. It's just not good enough. In February 2020 in Australia, a bipartisan federal government committee tabled a report titled Protecting the Age of Innocence. It was in response to an inquiry into the benefits of age verification legislation. And in their report, the committee expressed deep concern about the extent to which young people are being exposed to harmful content on the internet, noting that it negatively impacts their health, education, relationships, and overall well-being. The evidence they presented was clear and so were their recommendations. Following in the footsteps of France and, and the UK, the cross-party committee said that they wanted to see this issue addressed as quickly as possible, recommending that the government respond within 12 months to protect children through the introduction of mandatory age verification legislation. Sadly, the need became even more apparent as the COVID pandemic hit and children spent more time at home, indoors, on technology, often unsupervised. But it's now three years later and none of the committee recommendations have been acted upon. Our children remain unprotected and vulnerable. The delay is incredibly frustrating, but it's never too late to advocate for the interests of children. The committee's desire to protect the age of innocence continues to increase in relevance and grow in urgency. Heartbreakingly, the average age of first exposure to pornography is now between the ages of 8 and 11, and over 63% of these kids say that their first exposure was unintentional on their part. Unintentional for them, yes, but predatory behaviour online is common. Children are just one click away from filth, and the links can look so inviting. Age verification legislation may not be a silver bullet that fixes this completely, but there is no doubt that it would have a significant impact in protecting young, innocent eyes. The loudest voice against age verification legislation is predictably the adult sex industry, who don't seem to care how many children are harmed through their platforms. Their arguments against age verification legislation boil down to money. 
They say it will be too expensive for their stakeholders to implement. Their profit-driven interests leave no room for the well-being of our kids. Their arguments clearly place profit over our children's welfare and as such, they have forfeited any place at the discussion table over this. The adult industry is the primary contributor to the harms the government is trying to address. Age verification measure, measures simply help to enable the same level of protection for children when they're online as we have offered them in the real world for centuries. Right now we have some champions in Parliament that are keen to, pro to progress the recommendations to protect the age of innocence. Your voice, my voice, all our voices combined can hold up their hands and help them accomplish this in order to protect innocent children's eyes and hearts. Will you join us in calling on the government to urgently implement age verification legislation on pornography and on their websites? Go to our online page devoted to this campaign. The link is on our website. It's www.acl.org.au. But thank you in advance for your participation with us in this fight for what is good and true. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these things. God bless you.